Um, now, normally I would go on to. Uh, let, okay, let's, let's go on to, I think, one of the favourites for the title this year. It's Geylang International. Uh, one of the teams. They were, I'm supporting them. They're just my team this year, yeah. right? So Geylang Ballet and all that. Um, but one of the teams, I'd say, Sean, that can claim favouritism? Um, I think they were challenged for a title, but I don't see them winning it. Um, because I think the squad, the, squad, the, the squad looks promising, but I think they need a season together before they can challenge for a title and win it. Plenty of new signings, yeah. Gary. Got Carlos Delgado, Indra, uh, Dan Bennett, Brank, Dan, uh, Branko, Stanley Young. Paris Hamid, it's a massive, Hamid. massive revamp of the first team squad. I mean, they brought in players who used to have played together at the national youth age group squads like Shafiq Ghani, Stain Lee Woon, who used to play from sports school to Young Lions. And you got some other players from elsewhere who used some, I mean, I can't really recall how, but it's such a massive change that there are just only a handful of retained players. Handful. I went to the uh, JDT game night up at uh, Larkin Stadium. It was awesome. It was, it was. Were you, were you there? No. Oh, okay. But I saw your videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great fun, man. I'm definitely going to go up again. Uh, they did well against JDT, beat Happy Feet 6 0. Uh, I saw the Jung Fro Pongo 9 0 as well. Um, I think. I, how, how well will they go this year, Galen? I think they have to go for the title. Yeah. Uh, no excuses with a squad like that. Um, but whether they. Whether they would eventually win it, that's still Tampanese Rovers and Home United. So, as I, I think it will be down to these three, and you know, what I think injuries will factor into part. Um, having a big, all these three teams have a big squad, but I think Geelong just lack that little bit, especially up front. Um, after Branko, maybe you have got Sahil, but uh, it's just a little bit of quality. I yeah. think. Yeah, famous. Um, I I think Geelong is going to be a um, one of the title challenges for me. Um, the reason is that um, firstly, it's, it's great to see that uh, some of these clubs actually have put their faith in local coaches. And husband's a great guy, and I, I really hope he do well in, at Geelong. Um, having said that, now um, I, you know I, I think basically they've got a, a mixture of experience and youth as well. Uh, you know some. Um, experienced players who can uh, uh, guide the team and um, with that I'm, I'm hoping that they'll, they'll be title challengers once again.